Hurricane season is right around the corner, so it's time to start preparing. And while we hope our disaster to dream home is ready to take on the next big storm, we know how tough it is to not only deal with flooding, but to also lose power. And last year, I helped my aunt prep with some spray foam, which held back her house from flooding, but that didn't help her losing power for the week. So this year, we are helping her get prepared with the Jackery Solar Generator 5000 Plus. And while it can be a completely portable generator, we also chose to have the smart transfer switch installed for her as well. So when the power does go out, it will allow for a seamless power transfer. So while our licensed electrician installed the transfer switch, I set up the solar panels. And while it does have the capabilities of being a whole home generator, this here will provide enough power to keep a few essential appliances running. We opted to have her refrigerator, her microwave, her water heater, her lights, her ceiling fans, and even her TV. And gas generators, which are very common, are not practical for a lot of people. Not only are they very loud, but you have to provide gas and they can be very dangerous if you bring it inside. So now that the smart transfer switch is installed, let me show you guys some of the basics. So here's the 5,000 plus battery backup. So we're going to start with that here. And here I have the power on, so it will show you that it's at 100% charge. And there are several ways to actually be able to charge this up. And the good thing is, is it doesn't really lose battery while it's just sitting there preparing for a storm. But you are able to charge it by just plugging it into a power supply, which luckily is right there. You can also charge it by the solar panels, or you can plug it in if you are having their smart transfer switch. Now at the 100% here, it does supply up to 5,040 watt hours. And the good thing is, is you are getting about 10 years off this thing. It can go about 4,000 recharges. Let's talk about all of these and its capabilities. So we have the 12 volt car charger here and it will show you the input and the output. We also have our USB-C and our USB-A. So you're also seeing here that it is connected to the Wi-Fi. Let's talk about these four AC ports that we have here. It's actually two different groups. So the first section here, and then we have the third and fourth for the second section. Now each section or grouping can pull up to 3,600 watts. So much built into here. So then on this side here, you have even more plugs. So then if you do have the STS, this smart transfer switch here, this is actually where it's going to plug in right here. So it will control those breakers up there for you. We also have a generator plug here, and we also have a Tesla compatible charger there. We have our DC input. We also have our high PV switch here. So if you open this up here, there's the on off switch. And then here are the ports where you would connect the solar panels. You have this expansion port, which you can buy multiple batteries and that will connect directly to this. I love how portable this thing is. It not only has handles on there, but it also has large wheels in the back, caster wheels in the front, and even this handle here. So you can easily move it if needed. Spin it around, but you can actually bring this thing anywhere. It's portable, so it does not need to be connected to your smart transfer switch. You can actually just use this if you're going camping, have an RV, or even bring it to a family member whose power is out. This here is completely portable, which I love. I also love that you can go right on your app and see what percentage your battery is at, and it will stay fully charged for a very long time if you're not using it. Stay tuned while we put it to the test and get prepared for this hurricane season.